The correct approach to any machine learning problem is to start with the end in mind. For example, in a classification problem, we understand that after training our model, we will have to test its performance. And here comes the important concept of data splitting. Now let's say I have some data and this data is labeled. And now the question is, if I train my model with all this data or all these observations, how am I going to be able to test the model? Because I don't have any more labeled data, so I can test the performance metric with. So the logical idea is let me take a small subset out that is also labeled and be able to test my performance metric with it. Now the second question comes, if I end up training my model with a bunch of data and then testing it with another unseen data, how am I going to be able to enhance the model? because eventually I only have a trained model and I'm going to test it and I can't reuse the testing data to en enhance the model because I will be overfitting for that specific testing set. So the second logical idea is let me take another subset that I can use to tune the model. And these are our training, validation and testing subsets. Basically our main data is split into three types of subsets one, I use it for training the model, one is for validating or enhancing my trained model, and one is to perform the final testing. Some notes about these the subsets. The training data is used to train the different models, to train the chosen model eventually. After I decide what is the best model, I'm going to be able to train it with that training data. The validation data, on the other hand, is used to enhance the model or even choose the best model. So before I go into testing it with the final testing set, I need to choose what is the best model and what are the best hyperparameters of that model. So basically, if I'm trying to do a classification problem and I have the KNN, I have the random forests, I have the LDA or QDA, I'm going to try them all out and then test them with the validation data and then choose the best model out of those to be used for my testing data. Also, for example, if I'm trying a KNN model with K equal 1, K equal 2, or K equal 10, I'm going to test the performance of all these trained models with the validation data. Then based on the best performance metric I get with my validation data, I'm going to choose my hyperparameter K, for example, in this case. And then I'm going to use the validation data as many times as I need. The testing data, I'm not going to use it except once when I try the final model, but for the validation data, I can reuse it to enhance the model because I'm not going to be overfitting to my unseen data. The testing data is only used to test the final performance of the models chosen. And it's used only once. When we say only once, it doesn't mean that I can only test once. I can test the different models with the testing data once, but I'm not going to change my hyperparameter based on the results I'm getting with my testing data. So now a question might be coming to mind. What is the best split? So basically I have, let's say, 100% of my data initially. What is the best split I can do? Well, this question is subjective. So you can split it 60%, 20%, 20% for training, validation, and testing. You can do 75%, 12.5, 12.5. But the idea is that you should not limit your training set too much because this is what you're using to build your model. At the same time, you have to keep enough data to be able to validate and test the performance of your chosen model. Now, if your data set is too small, you might have to use something called cross-validation because you cannot afford to split it into three sets. So you will split it into two sets, a training and a testing. And within the training set, you will take some samples out to do cross-validation and you can check the cross-validation video for more details. Now, here's a small R code that will help you a lot in splitting your data in the correct way. So the first thing you need to worry about is the set seed. Set seed helps you to fix your random sampling. So every time you run the code again, the same random sample is being chosen. N row is basically you're calculating how many observations you have in your original data set and reserving this in a variable called N. And now you're taking a sample that is basically 75%. You're just taking the indices based on the uh, numbers from 1 to N, which is your number of observations. Then you're also taking another 12.5 that is not the same as the original. So you're putting the minus indice 1 over here. And then you're taking set the difference because we know that the remaining is 12.5 and we want to reserve index 3 for the ones that were not chosen by index 1 and index 2. 
and finally we just take subsets for the train data is data and you're choosing the rows with index one here you're choosing the rows with index two for your validation uh, data and for the testing data you're choosing the rows with index three with this you have learned data splitting now you can split your data and start training your model if you like the video please like share and comment and good luck with your data analysis Thank <laughs> you.